Five and five. I would like to welcome you in this lesson of today about the natural resources in Uganda. But before I introduce this lesson, I want us to go back to the previous lesson. So if you look at the previous lesson, we discuss about tourism. And we said that tourism is the act of traveling for leisure. Then we also looked at the two types of tourism. Where we said one, we have domestic tourism and we also have international tourism. Then we also looked at reasons why tourism is called an industry. We said that tourism is called an industry because it's a source of both income. Then the two, we also say that tourism gets employment to people. We also went ahead and we looked at reasons why tourism is called an invisible export. Tourism is called an invisible export because it does not involve the physical exchange of goods, but income is it. And then we also went ahead and looked at the examples of tourist attractions in Uganda. We looked at the climate, we looked at the water bodies, we looked at the mountains, we looked at climate, culture, Then for today's lesson, or for today's concern, we are going to look at the, the natural resources in Uganda. Under natural resources, we shall look at the definition of resources, we shall also look at the types of resources, and examples in each type of resources. So I want to begin with the definition of resources. Resources are components of the environment that people use to satisfy their needs. Or you can say that resources are things that people use to satisfy their needs. So we are saying that resources are components. Resources are components of the environment. Components of the environment. Components of the environment that people that people use to satisfy their needs. Resources are components of the environment that people use to satisfy their needs. Or you can say that resources are things in our environment that people use to get their needs. Then we have two types of resources. We have two types of resources. So we can look at the two types of resources. One, we have natural resources we have natural resources then we also have human made resources we have human made resources so these are the two types of resources that we have the first one is natural resources then the second one is the human made resources now you can look at the first type of resource which is the natural resources. So we have our first top, our first type of resources, which is the natural resources. So they can ask you what are natural resources. Natural resources are components of the environment that people use to satisfy their needs and they exist on their own. Or you can see that natural resources are things in the environment that people use to satisfy their needs and they exist on their own. So we are saying that natural resources natural resources are things in the environment are things in the environment that people use 
that people use to satisfy their needs and exist on their own. So what can you give are the examples of the natural resources? One, we have land. We have land. I say that the land is part of the earth. That's not covered by water. And that's the most important resource. Reason being that most human activities are carried out on land. Then we also have minerals. We have minerals. Minerals are valuable substances found in the underground. Then the other minerals we have two types. We have the metallic minerals and we also have the non-metallic minerals. Then our third example is about human beings. We have human beings, or you can say people as our third example of the natural resource. Then you also have water. Water. If you look at water, we can look at examples of both. the water bodies that we have in Uganda. We have lakes, we have rivers, we have swamps. It is. We also have another example of the natural resource, and that is the vegetation. You can say vegetation, or it can be plants. Under vegetation, vegetation is the plant life cover of an area. And there are two types of vegetation. We have natural vegetation and plant life vegetation. Then after looking at the examples of natural resources, then we can also look at the, our second type of resource, and that is human-made resources. So our second type is a human made resources so our second type is about the, the human made resources our dear children of life at five they can ask you to define human made resources what are human made resources human made resources are components of the environment that people use to satisfy they are needs and are money made, or they are made by people. So we are saying that human made resources are things, are things in the environment, are things in the environment that people use, that they people use. That people use to satisfy, to satisfy their needs and they are made by man. So we are saying that human made resources are components of the environment. That people use to satisfy their needs and they are made by people. Or you can say and they are made by man. What can you give are the examples of human made resources? Now you can look at the examples. What can we give are the examples of the human examples of the human made resources? So you can also look at the examples of the human made resources. What you can give are the examples. One, we have furniture. We have furniture. What you can give are the examples of furniture. Under furniture, you can talk of chairs. We have the tables. We have the stools. It is. Then our second example. We have the watches, watches, 
Uh, we also have televisions. We have televisions. Uh, we have the utensils. We have utensils. Then we can also give vehicles. Another example. We also have the vehicles. So these are some of the examples of things that are made by people and we are using them to get our needs. My adult children of time are five. Still we can go back to the major resources in Uganda where you have looked at the definition of resources, the types of resources, the examples of natural resources, and we have also looked at the examples of who, the human made resources. Now they can ask you to give the examples of who, resources. What can you give at the examples of resources? One, look at the examples of the natural resources. Whatever you have given under natural resources and human made resources, those are the examples of who, the natural, I mean, examples of the resources that you can give. So, in the case they ask you to define resources, we are saying that resources are components of the environment that people use to satisfy their needs. Then what can you give are the examples of resources? One, we have land, we have minerals, we have people, we have water, we have vegetation, we also have furniture, watches, etc. So these are some of the examples of resources. Then if that's the types, we have got two types of resources. We have the natural resources and the human-made resources. And we also have two examples of natural resources. Under natural resources, we shall look at the renewable resources. So today's concern has been about in Uganda. But before I end this lesson, I want to remind you about the activity that I've been sending to you. And there are some of you are ever bringing books without writing even the answers. Then you also look at the organization of your work. Improve from your handwriting, look at the way you underline on the answers and even the way you number your work. But in the case of any problem still, that's why I gave you my contact. You can call and we shall end up discussing more. Otherwise, thank you for listening to me.